Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right video. Today I'll be showing you guys all about solitary nesting bees. Today we're going to be installing some leaf cutters and I have my new nesting trays here. My whole kit is from crownbees.com. They're a fantastic uh, supplier of the bee homes as well as the bees themselves. And I have them chilling in the fridge. I'm going to get them out in just a second to show you guys. But first let me tell you a few things about what we'll be doing today and how we're going to set them up for success. So the leafcutter bees are pretty special. They actually use the leaves and petals of plants to make their cocoon, so it's really beautiful. If you haven't seen my other video about setting up mason bees, which is a different species uh, that uses mud for their homes, uh, it's really interesting and I'll put a link in the description for you guys. So these guys are slightly different. They're a little bit smaller and they even use the nesting trays that are six millimeter, the mason bees use eight millimeter trays. So I'll be using my bee chalet that you saw me set up in my last video as well as my bee basic hut. These are two different types of houses that crown bees sells. Inside of the bee basic hut they have the tubes for mason bees as well as leaf cutters all in there for you. And I've got my leaf cutter kit that they send you. So the mason bee kit as well as the leaf cutter kit, they give you the Invita Bee spray which has some different essences to help attract the bees and keep them there once they hatch and come out so they know that it's their home. And then they give you these little bamboo shoot tubes and these are what you'll use to capture the cocoons after the season's over so that you can bring them out for the next season at the end of spring to let the leaf cutters go again or the beginning of spring to let the mason bees go again. So you'll, the cocoons will be captured in here. You'll put them in this mesh bag that they call the bee guard, and then you store it in a dry, cool place until the next season. So these will go on top of my little tray here, and we'll go put that into the bee chalet. So now let's go get the bees. I have them in the fridge right now. They say to put the bees in the fridge for 15 to 30 minutes, which helps to calm them down. Um, if they're cold, they can't fly away right away. So before, before I get the bees out, I'm gonna spray out all my Invita bee. So I can get everything prepared before I do this. So what's really fantastic about doing my bees this time is that I've got tons of flowers going on. Yarrow, all these different kale things are going to flower. Um, different uh, honeysuckle, all my passion fruits flowering. Got squash blossoms, tomato blossoms. Got fennel blossoms, comfrey. Cornflower, marigolds, everything's coming to life here. All of the grapes, elysum, borage, bean blossoms, as well as blackberry and boysenberry. So here's the little bag that they come in. That's pretty cool. You can see the, the actual leaves. Those are the cocoons that they make. And some of the bees are in there right now. And the cold definitely made them a lot less active, I can tell. Let's just pour some of them out so we can look at them. That's pretty cool. These are the little cocoons they make for themselves, all out of leaves or uh, blossoms. These are the male bees I learned, and they have green eyes. They're super pretty. So the male bees hatch first and come out, and the females show up. They will hatch out a little bit later, like a week or two later. So let's get them in there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just slide the bag all the way to the back. Make sure they're nice and protected in there. And my house will just keep them protected from the direct sunlight and the wind and all of that. And I'm gonna let them find their home. So I sprinkled a few inside of the bee hut and then I'm leaving the rest with the bag open facing east and that'll be enough and they're gonna come out over the next week or two. All right, you guys, they're all inside the, 
the bee house now and looking good. They're wandering around. We're gonna have temps in the 70s and these bees are really good for temps in, in the 80s up to the 90s, low 90s. And um, we'll see, I'm just really excited uh, to see how they'll increase the pollination of all of my different fruiting crops and really excited to try out native bees. Uh, these are native to North America, so very exciting. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode all about the leaf cutter bees. I hope you enjoyed learning about them and seeing what they look like. If you'd like to try out your own North American native bees, definitely check out crownbees.com. I'll put a link in the description for you. And they'll set you guys up with the kit that you need and you can get your own leaf cutter bees just like I did.